Hello, everybody. This is Jack from tofluency.com. I help English learners reach a high level of English. And uh, if you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe if you're on YouTube. And if you're on Facebook, give this a like and a share and all that good stuff. So it is Monday, Monday afternoon. I've just had some lunch. And instead of going back to the office, I decided to come for a little bit of a walk in this very, very cold weather. I say it's very cold. It's not too cold. It's probably about ooh, five degrees Celsius, but it's very windy. It's very windy right now. And I don't have sufficient clothing for this weather, but... I wanted to get out. I wanted to be outside. Mara is here. Oleg is here. If you're watching this on YouTube, know that I recorded this live on Facebook. And there will be a link in the description so you can learn more about that. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to get run over. They're going to let me cross. I'm going to find a space where I can sit down and just talk to you guys. But before I do that, I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you some different things here. Okay. So, firstly, this is Pack Square. Okay, Pack Square. And it's the main square in downtown Asheville where I live. Now, you can see it's overcast today, which means... The sky is full of clouds, but it's not raining. It's not raining. Um, so over here, again, this is Pack Square. And you can see here, this is something that they added quite recently. They added this band stage so that in the summer, it's fantastic. You can come here and you can sit on this grass area, grassy area and listen to live music. It's fantastic. They have lots of concerts here in the summer. Now, this is also quite new as well. This is the Pack Square Pavilion. So they have some offices in here, and then over here there are some toilets, so there are some bathrooms. So it's really convenient for people when they come to downtown Asheville that they have this information center and also the bathrooms. So me and Ariza are here, or Areza, I don't know your name, sorry. But welcome, welcome. Now, a lot of the buildings around here, I'm going to show you this one. This is one of my favorite buildings in downtown Asheville. I think it's called the Jackson Building. Okay? And this style of building, along with this one as well, the courthouse, it's Art Deco from the 1920s. So this is the kind of style of building which was really popular in the 1920s. This is the um, fire department, fire station, right here. And then this is called Pax Tavern, which is like a bar. Um, it's a really fun bar, actually. I'll show you that in a second. Um, someone's asking if I'm okay. Yes, I am doing... I'm doing a lot better, thank you. I feel <coughs> I still have a cough and I still have a cold. But I am feeling a lot better. I'm feeling a lot better. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of other bits. Over here, this is a new hotel. It used to be a parking lot, but now they're making a new hotel there. There are so many hotels that are coming to Asheville. It, because it's such a popular tourist destination. Now, this building here, the biggest building in Asheville, is called the BB&T Tower, or at least it used to be. Let's just get a better angle of this. <coughs> Excuse me again. I'll bring you guys over here. That is the BB&T Tower. And what they're doing is they are renovating this. Renovating now, if you're enjoying this video, give it the thumbs up. 
click that thumbs up and, and share it with your friends. So they are renovating this building, it used to be offices, and they're turning it into apartments. And I think there's going to be an, a restaurant around here too. So this is the biggest building in Nashville. It's going to look much better once they do those renovations. Um, let's go for a little bit of a walk now. Um, Barbara says it's 29 degrees in Sao Paulo. Lucky you. Lucky you. Oh, it's cold today. So what's making it so cold is the wind, really. It's the wind that's making it cold. But it feels okay, you know. I don't mind to be cold every now and then. In fact, sometimes it feels quite nice. And when you go inside after, you feel really good. So yeah, th this is Asheville. Um, so I'm just crossing the zebra crossing. In American English, I think it's called a crosswalk. I can't remember. Yeah, that's a crosswalk. You can see the, the, white, and, um, the white lines there. And it, people stop for you sometimes. Not all the time. But people are meant to stop for you. Now, I'm going to show you this because it's kind of interesting. The grass has worn away. Usually, <coughs> at this time of the year, it's still green. It's still green. But we just haven't had any rain. There's been no rain for weeks. So the grass is dying. Um, Haito is here. Finally, you're watching a live lesson. Good to have you. But yeah, it's been so dry and it just, we haven't had any rain. Therefore, the grass is dying. There's heavy rain in Riyadh, apparently. So this is a bin or a trash can. And then here, you'll see this in a lot of American cities. You have the recycling bins too. So what you can put in here are the following. Glass bottles aluminum cans and plastic bottles as well so a lot of people like to recycle here and this is the trash can for that <coughs> we also have some park benches um, normally these are full in the summer with people in the park on, on these benches sitting in the park now this is so cool. I'm going to show you something in, in a second. And it's very popular in the summer. What it is, is over here. Are you ready? <coughs> These are water fountains. And in the summer, every day, kids and adults come here and they bring their bathing suits and their swim trunks and they just play in here. And they, the water comes up like fountains. I'm sure you've seen this on certain TV shows and stuff like that. And it comes up and people cool down, okay? They cool down. Sorry if it's a little bit noisy, but it's very windy. It's very windy today. So they cool down in summer by going in this area, and it's called Splashville. So again, this is the stage for music, and then here is the view from this area. Okay. So sorry about the audio if you can't hear it very well, but um, yeah, it's it's one of those days where it's pretty windy today. It is pretty windy. Okay, what else can I show you? Let's go this way. Okay, I'm just gonna jump down, show you this way. You should cover your neck and head to save yourself. I know, I should put my, here's a good, um, a good phrase to put up, put up a hood, put up a hood. But I just can't be bothered. I, can't, I don't want to do it right now. Okay, let's go this way and show you Pax pack, Tavern over here. So, 
Here's another recycling bin. This is um, a bar or restaurant. It's very popular with tourists. And in the back, no one is sitting outside on the patio today. No one's sitting outside on the patio. But usually in summer, it's very, very busy. And you can stand over here and drink, and this is where you can be. Someone asked where, in which neighborhood I live. So I live in West Asheville. <coughs> and currently we are downtown. Okay, we are currently downtown. And I have an office downtown. So I drive here about three times a week, four times a week to work in the office. And um, sometimes I like to get out of the office, get some coffee, and just take a walk around the neighborhood. I might actually take some photos today, get some black and white photos on this cloudy day. So look at this, how cool is that? It's like this little car that sits outside um, this bar and restaurant. And then you've got a barrel, probably full of whiskey. And here it is, Pax Tavern. Gemma asked if the recycling bins are the same colour. Well, they have um, blue on them. They have some writing on them to, to let you know that they are recycling bins. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching this lesson. Hope you got some good vocabulary. And um, yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe, please like, and also share this video. So thanks again. Speak to you all soon. And keep learning English. Bye for now.